Urban centers like Boston notwithstanding, local races usually attract little attention beyond their borders. But after years of leadership embroiled in controversy, even people who've never stepped foot in Lawrence kept an eye on the race between incumbent mayor William Lantigua and city councilor Dan Rivera. And it turned out to be a real nail-biter. WGBH News political reporter Adam Riley has more. Lawrence Mayor William Lantigua was Massachusetts' first ever Latino mayor, a point of pride in a city filled with Spanish speakers. But Lantigua was also a magnet for controversy who faced two recall campaigns. Then came a challenge from city councilor Dan Rivera, who said Lantigua's image problems were hurting the city. When you can't get industry to come in here and talk to you because you're toxic, you can't get state and federal leaders to come and take a picture with you or bring a check um, to, for any special program, that's a problem for us. And in the end, Lawrence voters agreed. In an election so close it prompted a recount, Rivera prevailed, winning by 81 votes out of more than 15,000 cast. Now Rivera is vowing to boost Lawrence's struggling economy and to heal a city that's still bitterly divided over his predecessor. Dan Rivera takes office January 3rd, and he joins us here tonight. Welcome. Thank you. So right after you were elected, you said that you were going to start the healing process for the city. What is it exactly that you think needs healing there? Well, I think when you look at the the voter turnout, I think that is a sign. It was such a close race. It's probably the biggest turnout in a generation. And we feel like we have to show people that it's uh, a place where people can come together. Um, what happened last time, it wasn't that close of an election. The mayor won by 1,000 votes. And, if, you know, there was a mandate for him to do some stuff. So I think that that's ended up being some of the attitudes he has. I have no mandate like that. And I know 80 votes tells me that i got to re reach across the aisle and tell people, hey, we're one community, we're brothers, sisters, mm -hmm. some of us are neighbors, and we got to really come together. And I, I, and I take that as a, you know, used to not be one of my priorities. We talked a lot about putting more police officers on the street, bringing jobs, affecting the schools. Unity's right at the top. Lantigua was the first Latino mayor in Lawrence. Do you feel like you knocked off a t trailblazer in some sense and there is a little bit of... I don't know, I'm not resenting it, but yeah, maybe a little well, this is no bitterness different. over that. Sorry, this is, this is no real different than any other major um, community that had this happen. And we have a, a first-generation ethnic leader that's kind of the standard bearer for the, for the community. Um, he just had a lot of missed opportunities. And, and before, it took a lot more time for the turnover. But, you know, we, we are in the information age. Everything happens a lot faster, and that, that time frame just squished on him. I and mean, he only had the full four years. I don't feel that way because the loss that we were seeing was greater than the positiveness of the positive stuff that we were getting from having the first Hispanic mayor. The news media, us included, because I've only been there to cover, frankly, negative stories, the school dropout rate. We did a whole thing with that. Um, you know, the, the state funding of the school, the state takeover of the school. Those kinds of things, you know, the, the, the local aid, the sort of like these, all this money that pours into the city. You said you wanted to have an opportunity to say some positive things about Lawrence. I want to give you that opportunity. Convince me that this is a thriving community that deserves the attention it's getting and the extra local aid and all that, and that you're going to do something with it. Well, and that we're going to want to come up there and have our pictures taken with you <laughs> and, the, and the checks and everything else. Well, no, honestly, that's funny. I mean, if you follow the segment, if you think about the segment we had just before and talk about development, mm -hmm. Lawrence has the intersection between 93 and 495. We have rail. We have an airport. Um, we have industrial parks, and we have um, a lot of commercial real estate. We have what I think is the most robust and kind of dynamic uh, workforce, because people think about immigrant workforce, and they think, you know, you're pure, you're huddled masses. And we have young, vibrant uh, families that are coming to our community. We're the only place in, in Massachusetts that's growing while well, Massachusetts um, is, is losing um, citizens. We are growing in that sense. And so I feel like if you're... If, if you're looking for a place to bring your business, we're going to make it safer. Let's just be, as a, as a starting point, know that city government is now um, going to be headed by a group of people that they know that if it's not a safe place to come to bring your business or your, raise your family, they are going to have a problem. So we're going to fix that. But after you do that, if you're a small family, you want a yard and a, a front yard and a backyard, a nice cape, come to Lawrence. We're a good, we're a good deal. All right, what about the school system? I mean, does it embarrass you at all that your own city government can't yeah. run that thing that's being run by the state? Yeah, clearly that's, it's, it does not make us feel good. It clearly doesn't positively impact our, our property value either. But what you have to understand is that what's going on there right now is a thing that's going to have some type, a level of national models being built out of it. And the attention it's getting is the same thing, the attention that we were getting when we had money problem. Nothing can happen, but it can get better. And so... 
not only are you going to have the administration that's going to focus on education more, I'm a product of the public school system, public, uh, public college, and, you know, it came from the projects. So I know what we need to do, and I know that if we don't get that right, and I went to mayor's camp at Harvard. And they, <laughs> That's good, yeah. <laughs> and they were saying, yeah, and nothing more clearly than two things you got to do. you got to keep your seats safe, and you got to fix your schools, and everything else will kind of fall into place. So we're going to do that. As you acknowledge, you only won by 81 points, so there were fans of William and Lantigua. And people were saying, when we went up there and interviewed people on the street, they were happy about certain things he did. Is there anything you can point to that you think was a success under his administration that you would actually build on? Well, I, I think that there is a, or a need, and this is something that's happening across the state, with infrastructure. So we do have to fix our streets. We have a problem with that. You know, and maybe he did, I wouldn't, he did some of that. And he did some of that. I mean, again, we, he does things in an interesting manner. And <laughs> I think we're going to find out that maybe some of the stuff wasn't done to the level we want. So I would say that that is important for us to remember, that it's not just um, programs that you can't touch. you really got to do things that people can put their hands on and say, hey, our, my street does look better than it did before. We're going to do that, and, and we're going to bring jobs here. I mean, one of the reasons why I think that I was able to get votes away from the mayor was that we talked about jobs. I'd knock on the door, and they were like, yeah, we've always worked, voted for Willie. And I'd say, well, you know, I'm sure when I talk to people, seven out of ten people are out of jobs. And they mm -hmm. said, I go, probably, probably got an uncle that's out of a job. And they say, yeah, my uncle is out of a job. And I said, well, I want to work on bringing jobs here. And you can't do that if people think they're going to be a bar city. All right, Dan Rivera, Lawrence, mayor-elect. Good luck. Congratulations. Thank you. And don't forget, come up to Lawrence. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back.